happy new year, happy feast day of Our Lady. It is January 1st and I am so excited to be bringing you this video because I have been wanting to talk about this one app in particular for so long and Emma reached out to me and asked me if we could do collab and I was like, yes we can, let's talk about Catholic apps and there's no better day to do it than right here. It's the beginning of a decade, it's the beginning of a year. Let's talk about ways to utilize our phone, to utilize technology to grow deeper in our faith this year. Please, please be sure to check out Emma's video after this one to get more Catholic apps. I know that you are going to love everything we talk about. And please, 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 well, one, subscribe to both of our channels. Give this video a thumbs up. And also, be sure in the comments to tell me what your favorite Catholic apps are if they're not covered in this video because, oh my goodness. And also, I'm going to link two videos I did prior. One was on Catholic Radio and one was on Catholic apps I did way back when, early 2018. The absolute top app of 2019 um, that I have discovered is iPieta. So, this app is a powerhouse app for any kind of Catholic theology just oh my gosh so let me tell you what is inside this app and it's all free which is just mind-boggling because I would totally have paid 10 bucks for this app at least first of all the entire Dewey Reams Bible is in this app of course this is a very traditional app number two you got your daily readings from the Dewey Ream number three you have prayers and I'm talking a ton of prayers the Recolta is in this app but under prayers, you can search by any language, Latin, English, French, Spanish, etc. They're grouped by category. Just go to town, learn some new prayers. My goal is to memorize one new prayer a month. That means by the end of 2020, I will have 12 new prayers memorized, which I'm sure I could probably do more, but I'm just trying to make sure it's like better than last year where I think I memorized one new one. Okay. And then. We get to the main topic, the main reason I love this app so much, and it is called the Veritas, which I'm probably not even pronouncing that correctly, but we have all of your catechesis right here, guys. Butler, Lives of Saints is in here, the Catechism of St. Pius X, this is in the app for free, the Baltimore Catechism, St. Thomas Aquinas' Catechism, Tons of Catholic of church documents are in here and Bible commentaries. These will take you to a di completely different level, level in your walk with scripture. The hey, the hey Doc complete Bible commentary is in here. So this means any passage in the Bible, you're like, I don't get what they're talking about. I don't get what they mean. Go to hey Doc, type it in. And there you go, you get some ideas on something that kind of flesh out what is being talked about in scripture. The second one I use all the time is the Catina Aurea. I hope I'm saying that right. These are just specifically to the Gospels, but oh my goodness, so, so good. And, and it has like um, all the early church fathers, including um, Ambrose and um, Augustine and just a bunch of them, Origen, they're all there commenting on the Gospels, like specific lines from the Gospels, right? So what I will do is I read my Bible at night and if I come across something that I'm confused on my Kindle, I will add a note that just says like look this up and then I can go to this app the next day and flesh out what I was confused about. What was Jesus talking about here or what are they... What does this mean? I just can't say enough. And I do have to say that I learned about this app from Patrick Madrid. Uh, the Patrick Madrid Show is an amazing Catholic apologetics and news program. It's on Relevant Radio. It's three hours a day. You can get the podcast. You can listen to it off the Relevant Radio app, like, on demand. Um, can't say enough about Patrick Madrid. He's amazing. And he, if you're on Twitter, I would definitely follow him on Twitter if you're on there. I'm not. So let's keep going, though. They also have a whole session called Spiritual. I haven't explored this yet, but inside is their Colta. I think the entire thing is in there. And you just flip through it like a book. I mean, it's amazing. The um, St. Thomas is in here, the early church fathers. Um, yeah, so if you only find one app from this list that makes sense for you, get the IPA app and just start exploring it. It is 
so rich with Catholic information. You would just, and instead of carrying around huge, you know, Haydock Bible commentaries or spending so much money on these books, it's all free on your phone, you know, in that moment. All right, I'm going to stop talking about IP out of it, please. Please download it. Um, not sponsored, just love it. Every Catholic should have it on their phone. The second one I chose is I Brevi <laughs> Breviary. I hope I'm saying that right. So I use this for the Liturgy of the Hours. I don't pray the Liturgy of the Hours every day, but it's nice to have something on my phone where I have the liturgy. I can at least do the Office of Reading. Is that what's called Office of Readings? I hope so. Um, I don't do it very often, obviously. But when I do, it's always so enriching. I'm like, why don't I pray the Liturgy of the Hours more? It's so enriching. And I love that prayer book I have that I, I'll put, link that video down below and up here. But I love um, the prayer book because it has the different Psalters, but they're like, every Monday is the same, whereas obviously the Liturgy of Hours changes with the seasons, and so it's more tied to the liturgical calendar. The third app I'm going to talk about is Formed. Every single Catholic child, adult, anybody should have the Formed app at least on their phone. We're talking Catholic movies, Catholic apologetics, Catholic, I don't know, teachings, Catholic audiobooks, Catholic ebooks, like everything is in this app. The, the little mini series presence is amazing. They have a bunch of um, awesome saint cartoons. They have saint video, you know, movies. My, my daughter loves watching um, Mother Teresa's movie. It's just, it's so good. I can't even begin to describe all the things that their brother Francis is in there. So please, please, please download Formed and um, you can get it on Roku or Apple TV if you have the newer Apple TVs and just start exploring it. Um, and if for some reason your parish doesn't offer it, there's a, there's ways to figure it out. It is $10 a month if you want to pay for it, but which is totally worth it. Like cancel your Netflix because they're say, doing blasphemous stuff against Jesus and supporting Planned Parenthood and go pay for Formed if you can't find it for free. Like let's put our money, you know, in good, better places. The fourth app I want to talk about is something that uh, one of you guys recommended to me called iCatholic Radio. And specifically, I want to draw your attention to the podcast, Love Will End Abortion. I have listened to at least a few of these and they have been so inspiring. Now, anytime I mention abortion, Google is like, we're not paying you a cent. So hopefully this video doesn't get demonetized, which is why I have a Patreon account in case you guys want to support like a dollar a month so that I could do more videos on like pro-life issues, which definitely with the election coming up is my plan. Anyway, it's a really, really amazing podcast. And then finally, EWTN. Now these are probably like really obvious, like big network apps, but the program, The Friar in EWTN's um, children's programming is amazing. Obviously it's dubbed over, like they must have filmed it in Italy or something and then they've um, dubbed it in English, but so good. Give it a chance. It's all on the different parables and they make it relatable to children. I even understand the parables better now having watched those shows. There's puppets. It's very cute. It's kind of like Jim Henson-ish. Those are my five apps. I'm so excited for 2020. It's a new year. It's a new decade. And I just think so many amazing things are going to happen this year. I'm so excited for what this year is going to bring. I love fresh starts. And I'll probably do another video on some of my goals for 2020 so that we can talk about Catholic, what Catholic New Year's resolutions look like. And no, they don't have anything to do with fitness. But um, anyway, you guys, I just hope you have a very, very blessed day. Remember to go to Mass today if you haven't yet. I'm sure there's probably an evening Mass somewhere nearby. Let's celebrate Our Lady. What a beautiful way to start the year is to spend time celebrating Our Lady. Pray to Our Lady this year. Get yourself a miraculous medal if you don't have one already and pray your rosary daily, and I'll talk to you guys again really, really soon. God bless. Have a very beautiful day. Continue to know God, love God, and do God's will, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.